Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're looking at a question um, or a HSC style question from two unit paper for financial mathematics. Um, this has been a request from Brody. Okay, so this is quite a tough question. Well, the first two parts are actually pretty cool. They're okay. It's the third one that really uh, causes some issues, but it's a quite interesting question. So, first of all, um, we'll be asked, as I usually do, to find an expression for the first month, I guess, or the first year, depending on what the question is asking. Now, in this case, it's telling us that we're investing, or actually, we're borrowing, okay, because it's a loan, we're borrowing P dollars. So, that's my amount that we're borrowing. We, our interest rate, it says, is 6% per annum for the first three months. So, at 6%, but it's a monthly rate. So that's gonna be 0 0.005. Remember, we deal with decimals, not fractions. Um, we've got a repayment, um, I guess our repayment, which is M, of $4,000. And we've got an N value of three years. Now be careful, because we've got an N value of three for three months, for the first three months, um, but it'll be a total of 36 months. Okay, because remember, this is our interest rate just for the first three months, and it says that specifically three months there. So I'll just put there three months there. So the first question says to find an expression for A. All right, so we are borrowing P dollars. We've got our interest rate of five or 0 0.005, so 1.005, which is my 100% plus that extra 6% um, over, tw over, well, over the 12 months. Now, after we borrow that amount and we've you know we've been charged this interest, we're then going to make a repayment of that four thousand dollars. Okay, so it says find an expression for um, for a one, and that is going to simply be my expression for a one. Now the second part is a bit more complicated, and now asks us to find an expression for a three. So let us start with the second question. Let's look at a new page there. We've got our A1, which we just proved in the previous question. So we're now going to form our second month of repayments. Um, might change the color a little bit lighter. Okay, so we've got our first month of 1.005. We subtracted the $4,000. Now, for that first month, Whatever that amount's going to come out to, we're then going to times by 1.005 again, because we've been charged at 6% um, per annum, but on a monthly base. And then we're going to subtract 4,000, just like we did originally. Now, I'm going to simplify that to make it P bracket 1.005. Now, I'm going to expand the brackets, because it's, we're timesing both these terms by the 1.005. Okay, so it makes 1.005 squared minus 4,000 times 1.005 minus the 4,000. Now, if you aren't confident in doing your factorizing here, then you can certainly do your A3 and do the exact same process. But I'm actually gonna factorize here and do 1.005 squared, as you can see there. I'm gonna take the 4,000, or well, actually, I'm gonna take the negative 4,000 out, which leaves me with 1.005 plus one. Now, usually I'd actually write the one first of all, okay? Um, and I would have to write this line out a second time. But for our argument's sake, just so you know what we're doing, I've written out the longer way. Because what we're trying to do is create a series here, okay? Now, we haven't answered the question yet because the question has asked us to find an expression for A3. So now what I can do is start to create my expression for A3, or whatever one they're looking for. Notice for A2, it was the power of two, so A3 to the power of three. Then we've got minus 4,000. Now it's gonna be one plus 1.005 plus 1.005 squared. Obviously for it be fourth, then there'd be another one there going through. Okay, so you could come with, for a term of a to the power of n if you wish, but they haven't asked us to do that. So all I've asked us is to prove this amount here, which we, if we look up in the question there, is exactly what they've asked us to do. Okay, job done for the, for the next part. So now it comes to the hard part of question three. Okay, so question three is gonna be quite long, and I'm probably gonna need some extra working out area for here. 
this is going to be at least a page long, guys. So it says here now, at the end of the three months, the interest rate rises to 9% per annum. So it's now going to go to 0.09 over 12, which is going to equal to 0. Uh, 0.0075. That's my new interest rate. And it's going to be repaid in total monthly repayments. So now we've got a new M value of 4,800. So that's going to change as well. And an N will be, well, it's going to be for 33, I guess. 33 months. However, we're going to need to still write a 36, etc. Because over, over that period of time. If the loan's interest rate is fixed at 9% per annum, for, for the remainder of the loan, find the value of P. So we want to find this little thing here. I might put that in green. That's what we're trying to find is the value of this. So we have to put a few things in a place here. Now, we could start by writing A4 equals and write this whole thing out. We can then put brackets around it like this and then times by our new 1.0075 and take away the 4800 just like you usually would. The only issue there, folks, is that's going to get really messy. Um, so what I'm actually going to do here, so just to save me a bit of room at the moment, I'm going to just write that as A3. Okay, so A4 is equal to this whole thing, times it by 1.0075, and then I'm going to be taking this away from $480. So a 4,800. 4, okay, so... That's what A4 is going to be. So A5 would be A3 times 1.0075 minus the 4,800, just like we've got there. But then I'm going to multiply that again by the 1.0075, and I'm going to take off 4,800. Again, if you prefer to have A3 as this whole thing here, then you're most welcome to do that. Okay, um, once I've got that, I can then start multiplying out just like you did before. So I'm going to times both of these terms by 1.0075. So I'm going to have A3 times 1.0075 squared minus 4,800 times 1.0075 minus the 4,800. Now, you'll again start to see a pattern sort of forming. So this is going to equal to 1.0075 squared minus, I'm going to factorise the 4,800 out, not 48,000. Be careful to make silly little mistakes like that. Okay, I'm going to factorise negative out there, and I'm left with 1 plus 1.0075. You can see that time I actually reverse those around to start off with. Um, otherwise, you could have 1.0075 plus the 1. Okay, so what you can start to see is I'm starting to form my series because what I want to find is an expression for what A36 is going to be. So this is where I now look at my A5 and see I'm going to try to replicate this thing. Okay, so I've got a3 times 1.0075 to the power of. Now, that was 5, and that's 2. So it means I've subtracted 3 from that. So 36 take away 3 is 33. Minus 4,800. Note, this is going to be a series inside here. So 0075 plus, I'm going to do a dot, 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 plus 1.0075. And now this is to the power of 1. This was 5, so that means I've subtracted 4. So let's do the same thing, 36 take away 4, that's 32. But as you know, it doesn't really matter when you're doing a series. Okay, so that's my sort of series at the moment, but I've got the, this series in here, which we want to um, recreate using our series of, um, of our uh, geometrical um, progressions. Okay. Okay, so this is what I've got now. So I now need to, let's make that just a 36. I'm going to recreate this as a series. So remember our series is going to be your A brackets, R to the N minus 1 over R minus 1, where R is greater than 1. So I'm going to, the 1 is my A. 
of 1.0075 to the power of, now I know it says 32, but you remember it's 33, okay? Um, and then we've got minus 1 all over, well, I'm just going to put 0 0.0075 because that'd be the same thing as r take away 1. All right. So, and remember, it's 33 there because you've got this 1 to start off with, and that's our 33rd term. Okay, so now let's start to rewrite this into the whole story of things. So we're going to have a36 equal to, now remember too that this a3 is actually another term. Okay, so this is where it's going to get just a little bit ugly, I'm afraid. So bear with me. I'm going to type in my A3, and you can look back to see what your A3 was, but we had P brackets 1.005 to the power of 3 minus the 4,000 brackets 1 plus 1.005 plus 1.005 squared, and it stopped there. That's what my A3 was, okay? I can now put in the rest of it, which is this part here. Okay, so times 1.007533 brackets minus, I'm going to go underneath here, 4800 times. Now, instead of writing this series, I can now write this thing here. 1.0075 to the power of 33 take away 1 all over 0 0.0075 okay if you're with me at the moment you're doing pretty well so a couple of things I would like to simplify I don't like having this as a fraction on the bottom so I like to get rid of that first now if you actually do that in your calculator and do 4800 divided by 0 0.0075 often you'll be surprised that that will come out to be quite a nice little number and if you certainly do it for this one it's um, it does so it comes out to be nice so I'm going to put a zero here because remember it's asking us to find P for when I've paid back the loan. So I want it to be equal to zero. So I've got my P brackets 1.005 cubed minus my 4,000. Now you can actually simplify this because that's not a series. Oh, it is a series, I guess, but it's only a series of three. So if you double um, put that into your calculator, like I'm doing at the moment, you might be able to hear that tapping, my apologies. Um, it's actually going to come out to be you know, a semi-nice number. So that semi-nice number is going to be um, 3.015025. Now, if it doesn't come out to be a nice number, then leave it as that. Times 1.0075 to the 33 minus, now, as I said before, if you do 4,800 and you divide it by the 0 0.0075, it actually comes out to be 640,000 times 1.0075, 33 take away 1. As you can see, you need lots of room here. Okay, so actually, you know what? You're relatively close to finishing this question. What I'm going to do, I've got minus this amount and minus this amount. So what I'm now going to do, I'm going to plus both of those to the other side. Okay, I'm going to try to get a little bit more room here. Oops, a little bit more room there. Okay, so I'm going to plus those to the other side. So to, the, to this left hand side, I guess. So that makes I've got 4,000 times the 3.015025 times the 1.0075 to 33. I'm going to plus this across as well, so 640,000, and then times that by 1.0075 to 33, take away 1, and that will all equal P brackets 1.005 cubed. Um, alternatively, you could have taken the, the, this across and just made these positives, up to you. Now what you then notice, I want to find P, so I'm trying to isolate P by itself. So I can divide by 1.005 cubed. So I'm going to divide this whole thing here 
by 1.005 cubed. Okay, and then if I do that in my calculator, and be careful, put that in nicely into your calculator into fraction mode, you will come up with the nice answer of 149,662 dollars and 11 cents. And that's the answer. So a really tough question. That's really, really challenging. As you can see, there's a lot of error there to, um, to or a lot of room to make errors there. It's only really two marks, believe it or not. So that's quite challenging to get the second mark. But to get the first mark, it's probably not that bad. But I guess what you're trying to do for that, that uh, first mark is trying to create this series here with the A3 inside there and this amount there. Now again, you didn't have to put A3. You could have actually put the whole number. But as you can see from that bottom line of working, having it all inside there is actually quite a lot of work and obviously I didn't have enough room. So look, I hope that made some sense. As I said, a really tough question. Um, that would be sort of, in my view, a, a good sort of question 10 in a HSC paper or a trial HSC paper. Um, certainly the first two parts I think were quite easy. That third part though, yeah, that was uh, pretty epic. So anyway, I hope that made sense and uh, yeah, keep at it. And any more requests, please feel free. Cheers.